Alright y'all. <clears throat> Alright y'all. Welcome to another vlog. It's your girl name's KP and I'm back with another video. I just want to invite y'all to spend the day with me, spend some time with me. It's been a minute since I've been with y'all, since I got back behind the camera. And uh, come on this journey with me because every day is a journey. Even if you may not realize it, every day you wake up is a journey of some sort. You just got to get through it and push on and keep living this thing called life. I just uh, washed my face, brushed my teeth, and did my hair. And now I'm finna get uh, the boys up and ready for school. Start making lunch and uh, feeding the baby. And then we're gonna start getting dressed and headed out. Here we go. Alright y'all, so I sold a pair of shoes on eBay. And the person like with the box, be sure it's with the box, and be sure the box is um in great condition as you see in the pictures. I posted that sale like a year ago. Over over a year ago. So we're gonna get these shoes and we're gonna ship them out. These other shoes. I bought these shoes like two years ago, but I can't wear them because my foot is too fat. These are shoes. They're, they're a shoe. I can't wear them. So, so. Alright, y'all. So, we are at the park where we start getting the kids ready for school. I got to pack Legends bag for daycare. And then I got to make him and Landon some burgers. So let's see what they can left in here from yesterday. This cup I gotta wash. Okay, he needs his snack. How many diapers we got in here? Enough. His name should be on all of them. One, two, five, six, seven, eight diapers. Nine. Change of clothes. Alright, so that's good. We just need to put his name on his food. That's my marker. Gotta write his name on it. I don't know if it means anything, but I gotta write his name on it. Sound like he's trying to wake up, so let me uh make his oatmeal so he can go and start eating breakfast. So I just put a little water in the microwave for a minute so it don't be too hot for them. and then i'm about to take my ashwagandha for the day so i can remain calm Our breakfast this morning includes chips. I had some chips from yesterday that he didn't eat. And that's how we gonna watch it and roll it this morning. I remember when I was little and I was living in Atlanta. My uncle's girlfriend at the time was a nurse. She worked night shifts. She would come home. She would fix us breakfast and send us off to school and we would stand with them. And I had a half lunch bag. We're a little bit still sleeping. Come on, you ready for breakfast? Wake up, sleepyhead. Go. 
diabetes can be reversed. All right, y'all. What's up? What's happening? I'm back. All the children are dropped off. And the kids are all right. You gotta go around because it's a train the way I normally go to work. So now I gotta go all back all the way around and get back, get on the freeway and hit the highway to What the hell? Hold on. Right, I don't know. But anyway, as we all may have known, yesterday Jerry Springer passed. Um, yeah, I might be like, yeah, but he made black people look bad on TV. They chose to be there. They chose to go on his show. And it made for great entertainment back in the day. I remember when I was a little girl, I was supposed to watch Jerry Springer. I was watching Jerry Springer. I'd be like, Jerry, Jerry. You know, y'all was like, Jerry, Jerry. So, uh, yeah, Jerry Springer was that guy back in the day he was uh he had all kind of crazy stuff on the show and it was like one of the first tv shows like they had shock value because they had transgender people on there he had uh, men um cheating and they were cheating with another woman but turns out it wasn't a woman it was a man that was made for good shows. And then I remember where it was one where like it was this uh transgender um woman, I guess. Because it's male to female, transgender woman. Transgender woman on there. I think her name was Brittany. And she had like high cheekbones, had a half and a little puff. Baby, she slapped the dog mess out of that woman back in the day. And if y'all remember what episode I'm talking about, I'ma try to find a clip of it and insert it. That made for great TV. And then, uh, a lot of y'all may be too young. Um, you may be my age. I'm 36 years old. You may remember this. Y'all remember when Jerry Spring was on pay-per-view? Remember when, back in the day, when everybody had the box and everybody was getting free cable and you was able to get all the pay-per-view shows? And um, Jerry Springer had like a pay-per-view special and you had to pay for it. It was good. It had like crazy stuff on it. Judge Jerry. I started watching Judge Jerry, but it wasn't that like the Jerry Springer show when Will Steve was getting hit all in the head but with them girls fighting on each other. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all go back and look, still getting a hit all in the head with them girls fighting on each other. I don't know how true it is or not, but like some people, they'll go on there fighting them people and they don't even know who they are. Like it's all a setup. Like at one point, I guess Jerry Springer had to get, you know, get their ratings back up. So they just started taking on stories and getting people to meet up and they ain't know each other. They had storylines and stuff and skits and they was on their fighting channel. Jerry Springer made for great TV back in the day. Because half of this stuff that happened on this show is taboo. This car in front of me stank. Like the exhaust. It's not an old car, but it stank. Anyway, Jerry Springer made for great TV back in the day because a lot of stuff that happened on the show was taboo. It was men sleeping with men, women sleeping with women, strippers. It was little people on there. They had a, a smorgasbord of everything that was drama trash it made for great tv and i'm gonna miss it but at some point or another everything must come to an end so that's what happened then you know we got mari that's who left so but mari did mari make any new shows because you know i work during the day now so and then when i work nights i slip all day so does mari still make shows because i know he's still active on like twitter Whoever running the Mari account. So we still got Mari. Mm hmm Sure do. That's my spill on that. So today on the agenda, what we have is work. Cause you know I gotta stop by work and uh complete some stuff. When I say stop by work, I mean Monday through Friday, eight to four thirty. Eight hours, eight and a half hours of my life is is uh dedicated to work because I have a lifestyle I have to maintain. 
So I gotta go, I call it stopping by for eight hours. I call it stopping by for eight hours. I don't know about y'all, but that's how I see it. I'm in the school zone. So I gotta slow down because they got these school zone cameras. And uh, I don't want to get a ticket because you got to be like less than school zone limits, like 25 miles an hour. So I don't want to get no ticket. And then in six months, we come to find that the city has made over $1.5 or $1.7 million on these school zone traffic tickets. But we don't know where the money going. So I think somebody uh, requested an audit of where the money going from the traffic tickets because we want to know who pocketing it. Did say something. What did you say? I said point of information. What is your point of information? Like this city is so corrupt when it comes to politics. Like, you know, I got politician family members. However, I think I need to get into politics. I, I always said my ultimate goal is to be a politician. A politician for nursing policies. But you know, I can be honest, I can be fair, I can be real. We gonna see. But that's my ultimate goal in life, to be a politician. Don't ask me why. I always wanted to be a politician for nurses. Maybe we can change some of these uh, rules and regulations and make safer practices. But that's just a tangent I will not go on. Because, let me tell you, when it comes to nursing policies, I get pretty riled up. Because the research is there. The research proves what's being said. And these hospitals continue to put profit over patients. The next thing after work is nail shop. Um, I was going to take these off because, you know, these are my nails. Um... I was gonna take them off, but I think I'm gonna just do a refill and a cut down with a new overlay this time. Uh, because I'm pressed for time and uh, I gotta be in and out. Like, I need to be in and out in an hour. Like, my appointment at 3.15, I'm leaving work at 2.30. I gotta be in and out. So we gonna see how this go. I'm not gonna make it to work for eight o'clock. I'm gonna have some Nike socks with my church shoes. I'm not. All right, y'all. I'm off work. It's favorite place. My nail shop, Glamorous Nails. It's the sanctuary. Um, it's where I go to get comedic relief. And uh, got me a plague. I don't know what this is. Smoothie from the bubble place. So, let's go. All right, y'all. Yeah, I ain't been making no videos. It's been a month. All right, y'all. So, what's next on the agenda? I'm done getting my nails done. It's just a nude. Let's see. Just a nude uh, refill. And I got this ingrown cut on my toe because it hurt. Jakari, uh, Keela say, uh. Yeah. All right, y'all. So, like I say, the nails are done. Something nice, something simple. And uh, we are on our way to walk ones. Um, to eat some dinner. I have not literally eaten all day. All I've had today was water and a boba. That's it. And it wasn't even a boba. It was like a strawberry slush with lychee jelly. So, with that being said, I'm ready for some real food for some reason. I got a taste for a sandwich. I don't want nothing heavy. I don't want to, you know, I'm, I'm not craving nothing too bad. So, I just want a sandwich. And, uh, yeah, so... That's what we about to do. We about to get into some food. Because your girl is hungry. Alright, so I had to change diapers. I don't know if I like this short stick. I like my long stick. Hold the door open. 
and get in the way. Alright, we're gonna get some grill. We're gonna get some grill tea. Go. Alright guys, so we are at walk on. My head died on me while I was eating, so I couldn't make my eating video for my eating channel. But and it was I just ended up eating half the sandwich and some of the fries. Um, however, I'm gonna take me a shower and I'm gonna use this a little hair care. I'm gonna use this. What is that? That the men use for shaving? That what's that shaving powder? Magic shave powder. This is the one that I particularly, particularly use. It is the magic shaving powder. I do the YouTube hand. It is the magic shave powder with uh, the pillatory. Help stop razor bells with aloe and vitamin E in a silver can. It don't burn, it don't stink, it don't do none of that. So with that being said, I'm finna use this. I'm finna take a shower. Uh, I'm not gonna do a shower routine because that's too much work. And uh, I'm finna ready to put my baby to bed because that boy had a long day. So with that being said, I'm finna brush this hair out. Brush this hair out. I don't know, it's just, like I said, it's supposed to be raw Cambodian, but whatever. I bought it two years ago. I'm gonna comb this out and put it up in the bun. I was gonna recur, I was gonna take it off and wash it, but it don't. It's just cause it's been a week, but some girls go three weeks without, with the same wig on. Let it ride this week. I just don't have time to deal with it anyway. I'll be busy for the next few days. I gotta work Sunday, Saturday, which is tomorrow. Got a birthday dinner for my aunt. So I said I'm gonna get up early and act right and try to be on time. Cause she want everybody to be at five and she know I'll be late to my own funeral if I don't be careful and watch my time. I got poor time management. Like, I be trying to get places by a certain time, but it just don't work out that way. So, take the shower, put this hair up, and I'm going to highly at y'all. All right, y'all. So, it is the next day. We left off on the vlog from last night. Let me get ready to go to bed. We are at my aunt's birthday dinner. And this is the outfit of the day. Little she in piece. Target pants, steam man shoes. You wanna bring your diaper back? And uh, I'm just waiting to go in. Everybody had to meet up at five, so. Oh, this is bad. There were people in here eating. How you doing? Hey, I'm a girl. Yeah. yeah, you know I'm vlogging right now. I'm vlogging right now. Yeah, trying to get out of doing work. Hey, mama. All right. Thank you.
Versace, and then he still ain't still. I don't know how right. to spell it. Let's go. Versace. He spelled it the way he pronounced it. I think, I think what is it? V E R S A C E. V E R S A C E. It's like Versace. V E R S A C E. Y'all too old to be going Dutch. That would be pretty if they did it in town. Concrete that pool where you can sit outside. They need to, but they ain't gonna do it. They close this like on Sundays, so you know they close on Sundays. They like have events in here. This one girl had a bridal shower. They don't open on Sundays. Finally ended one on. I wanted to say that so bad on my post. I said, no, I'm going to go on Sundays. And I am like, they ain't going to fight me. But when I tell you, she don't want to do some mean. Yeah, they got married on a weekday. It's on a big Thursday. She got out work. No, she got out of work. I'm not big fan. You might get away from it. I did. The night before. The boys in blue. The boys in blue. Thank you. And I'll take one. That's right. Lemonade. Landon, what you want to drink? Hey, baby, go. Yeah. And what can I get for you? I want lemonade. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, the three stuff shrimp and rice and gravy. He wants the cheeseburger with the meat, cheese, mayonnaise, and a bun. Because I said it was how meat was lying. They didn't give it a bun. And uh, with the fries. And the baby wants french fries. So, meat, cheese, and bun burger, and then fries, and then the egg and Ma, don't, don't do that. They uh peach cobbler is good. Yes, ma'am. Really? The red. I've seen that truck. It's hard. I want to try that Jamaican food truck. Yeah, they be over there where Mama be at on Fridays. Yeah. At Piermont. And they be in a different apartment complex. I was just telling Mama a couple of weeks ago, I said, I wish I could find me a Jamaican, uh... Some Jamaican food? Yeah. She got oxtail and everything. It's like a plate of oxtail and rice. It's 20... That's what Mama say. Everywhere. But they be at Piermont on Fridays. From 11 to 1. But they sell out every time. This man on my TikTok he was telling me how he hate black women. And you know, I gotta approve my comments before I. He wrote me five more comments about how he hate black women. They ain't nothing but prostitutes. He going overseas to get him a foreign woman. I said, sir, you're black. You're black. And like, he's just on his page being angry. Talking about black women, how he hates black women. Somebody heard him. Man. Oh. She dropped it. She did. She dropped it. She dropped it. Legend. I'm full. I don't want the fries. I'm throwing them on the floor. Okay, I want to give them some. Legend. Just put throwing these fries on the floor. Throw this stuff shrimp away, girl. Oh no, I'm taking it home. All right, let me take it home. I'm gonna live out this. I'm gonna live out. Ain't you got a whole thing right there? I know you're effing lying. <laughs> Since I gave you the one I had. That's what my right.
Christ. Look. I tried to get fair. I <laughs> you need to get a job. Huh? You need to get a job. Yeah, I don't think everybody's going to They don't? She told me they did. Oh. They out? Well, the last job I told us, I was like, I had to get different from the light. I think I'll do a wrap around. We'll wrap around. <laughs> Yeah, and let me get a booster. 
One piece of rock, or was the other one? And uh, Boosie. Boosie, any extra shots on him? Nah. That's it? Yeah, that's no, it. No. no jelly shots, no syringes, how you doing? I'm good, how, how you? You know, we make them here. They're pretty good. Y'all got a pickle piece of rock? She said, I got the hypnotic green apple and fruit punch. You show? Sure? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna just do the piece of rock, Daiquiri. This time. Oh, oh, God. Yeah, look at these. Look at these. Y'all see that hanging up there? Yeah, they got apparatuses, too, in there. They got, got a dick hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Which one is it? Uh, that's going to be the uh, Boosie. Boosie. Uh, that's going to be the Boosie. Hey, y'all got a dick hanging from the ceiling, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's what we were looking at. <laughs> Well, maybe. <laughs> Ten different speeds. <laughs> that, that seems dangerous. How much y'all sell them for? Man, I give you 50% off. $39.99. $39.99. Yep, I sell them $69.99. I'm going to come back. Man. Man, see, that's both of them, man. <laughs> Y'all got that one right there. Yeah, that's the whole package deal. Yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm <right. laughs> Hey, y'all got a pickle piece of rock? Got a dick hanging from the ceiling. He, he do. That was funny. I was like, wait. Then when you pointed out, it's like right over his head. Oh. <laughs> Look at what you laughing at. <laughs> we laughing. He's so funny, little boy. You're such a funny little boy. There's that. So we're going to close out the vlog here because it's been a long day. And uh, I came back no. on late. It is what it is. Let me see what they doing. Legend got my phone. So, we're going to see what they doing and probably roll up on them. Until next time, y'all. Peace. You won't break my soul. I'm telling everybody. Everybody.